Well, on this hunt, we walked down into this draw above a reservoir, and I told Stan, I said, well, these coyotes love these reservoirs, and they usually den close by. So anyway, we opened up with a howl and waited a couple minutes, and I howled again, and we looked over, and these two coyotes were sitting on the side of the hill. Now, I don't know, this. I haven't looked at the footage, so I think the footage just is going to be fast and furious on this because I had to move the camera, Stan had to get up and run. We ended up killing a double, um, and uh, anyway, it was just a fun set, but man, if things happened fast, and, and I had a hard time stopping these coyotes. I mean, it was difficult. You'll see on the footage how difficult it was to stop these coyotes, but anyway, um, let's get to the hunt. Over to the right. Where's he at? Right Where at? Right Which side? Hang on a minute. You're right. Straight ahead. No, to your left now. No, back that way.
Let's pull them up together. Crap, drag him up here. I'll go get the other one. Yeah, I don't know. He's right on the other side of this bush right here. Go straight. Just keep going straight. He'll be down in there somewhere. Yeah. Stephen and I just sat here at this reservoir. We're, I don't know, 400 yards up from the reservoir and we howled and we were sitting there about five minutes and all of a sudden I look over here on the hill and there's two sitting on the hill there about, oh, probably 200 yards away. So Stephen turned a little pup to stress. Of course, they came on the dead run and uh, it was kind of chaos because this was the one set I didn't bring my shotgun and coyotes were running all over the place so I had to just get up and freehand. I freehanded this one and then another one he was missing out on everything and he howled and ran down here and I freehanded him over there and he twisted around and got in the brush over there but anyway we killed a double. Yeah we've been at it pretty hard today. We killed one the one uh, earlier uh, but boy it's been tough but uh, I guess this uh, we're kind of redeeming ourselves. I think we're up to just four now today I guess so anyway it just shows you if you just keep after it just keep plugging away and don't give up sooner or later you're gonna have some set like this that just kind of caps off uh, your day but uh, we still got about three hours left of today so we're gonna keep going and kind of cooled off a little bit with a little thunderstorm that came over and so we're gonna keep at it and see if we can't kill some more that second coyote was shot right behind that bush we were sitting right up there. So I'm going to show you guys why sometimes when we shoot coyotes, we don't always recover them. We've spent quite a bit of time down in this uh, draw. He ran down in this uh, draw, and I'll show you what, uh, what he ran into and why it's hard to find him. Okay, so he ran right down in the bottom of this little draw right below where he was shot. You can see that stuff there is probably almost waist high. We walked all over through there trying to find him and didn't. And then there's a lot of times there's stuff like uh, there's a big old log right here. I already checked that and he didn't go in that. But I'll tell you a lot of times it'll end up in a big old log like that. And it's hollowed out. But he didn't go in there, so he's most likely laying somewhere in all this high stuff, dead, and we just can't find him. So we give it our best, but you just don't always recover them, and there's, there's a reason why. It's not like we're not trying to recover them, it's just pretty difficult in that stuff. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy this type of content, I would appreciate if you would consider subscribing to my channel. Here are a few more videos I think you'll enjoy.